Hey, Jaime here and welcome back to a brand new video where I'm going to be showing you how you can go from being a college student to building a six-figure online business in less than one year. And why am I sharing this with you? It simply comes down to the fact that I've done it myself. Just over a year ago, I was stuck in a top London uni called University College London. I was starting civil engineering absolutely hated my course i absolutely dreaded every single minute of it and so i decided to drop out of college and pursue my entrepreneurial journey full time and in that time i've been able to build my online business my social media marketing agency to generate me forty thousand dollars plus every single month predictably and so it's fair to say that i haven't looked back but at the same time i've been through the trials and tribulations of going from being a, a college student, right, to being a full-time entrepreneur, building a business, managing a team, adding value, dealing with clients. And during this journey, I implemented three strategies that served me incredibly well and helped me get to the point where I am currently at today. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you those three battle-tested strategies. And so without further ado, let's go right into it. <laughs> The first strategy comes down to picking the right financial vehicle and business model. And the reason why I say that is because you have to be very self-aware of where you're currently at in your life right now, what you do have and what you do not have. And so what you need to realize is that for most students, I'm speaking for the average student, obviously there are gonna be exceptions to the rule, but for most students, what you do not have is number one, money. You don't have much time because you're actually uh, studying, right? And so for example, in my case, I was studying an engineering course and I had close to 35 contact hours every single week and so my time was not abundant because I was spending a lot of time in college right and you know going to lectures and doing my assignments etc etc right obviously if you're studying a course where you don't really have many contact hours or you don't really have a lot of lecture time then you have a lot more time to build your business right but for most students you don't have much time because a lot of that time goes into the actual classes and into doing your course uh, in terms of money you don't really have much money because you haven't really built something for yourself right obviously you can get handouts from your family or from the government right which is not really something that I recommend but I'm not going to get into that in this video but essentially you don't have much money you don't have much time and you don't have much experience because you haven't really built a business yet and so essentially you are kind of like a baby entrepreneur right and so what you need to realize is that you don't want to pick a business model that is full stack right which means you need a lot of skills to be able to actually generate good money and, and to make that business model successful number two where you don't really need much startup capital because you don't really have much money and number three where you don't need to slave hours on end to actually get a bit of traction with that business model, right? For example, let's just say that you decide to build an e-commerce business, right? I'm not talking about dropshipping. I'm talking about a completely different thing. I'm talking about an e-commerce business where there is product development, right? You have to come up with the product. You have to come up with the design of the products, the packaging, the labeling, as well as obviously the marketing of the product, the logistics of actually getting this product into the hands of your customers. And so there's so many components that you have to master. And the reason why I say that is because when I started out as an entrepreneur, I decided to go down that route. I decided to build an e-commerce business. It was a clothing line and I was selling streetwear garments. And although it wasn't a massive failure and quite frankly it did decently well, I had to force myself to master so many different components. And the thing is when you're trying to master a lot of things, you don't really do one thing very well. Right? And so I was decently good at a bunch of different things, but I didn't have the time or the team or the experience or the expertise to make the full machine work the way I wanted it to work. And so that's that for experience. You also don't want to try to build a business like a software, right? because a software actually takes a lot of startup capital, right? You need to hire developers, you need to get people to actually build the code, to build the product, and that can be very costly, right? And the final thing, time, both a software business and an e-commerce business are very time intensive because you actually have to build a product, right? You have to get this product in the hands of customers, okay? So that is why I stayed away from those business models and I decided to shift my attention to the agency service-based business model. And essentially the service-based business model, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is just you find a service, right? You pick a service, you pick a niche, a group of people that share similar traits and interests, and then you solve their problem using your service. And so for example, in my case, I built a social media marketing agency where we help e-commerce businesses scale to seven and eight figures, right? And we basically take an e-commerce business and we transform them into a market leader. Right? And we do that through the power of paid ads. I'm talking about primarily Facebook ads and Google ads. Right? And so that is our core mission. And the great thing about a service-based business like an agency is the fact that in terms of money, you don't really need much capital to start. In fact, I've got so many videos on my channel where I show you how you can start for literally like $54 a month, right? Uh, you can check it out here after this video. 
But essentially, you don't need much money to start a service-based business because what you're selling is a human resource, right? It's knowledge, it's expertise, it's an actual service, right? It's not, it's not a product that you have to create and that you have to put time, energy, and resources to come up with the product idea, the design, uh, and the logistics of it, right? In terms of expertise and experience, the scope of work is severely restricted, right? We're only doing one single thing, which is Facebook ads. All you have to do is master your service and understand your niche like no one else and you will have success. You don't have to be an expert in a myriad of other business functions like product development, like logistics, like uh, a ton of different marketing channels, like creating content, et cetera, et cetera. And in terms of time, well, it's much friendlier because we're gonna get an expert to come into our team and actually deliver the service for us. So we only have to uh, invest our time and energy into signing clients and making sure that our clients are very well taken care of. So that is the first thing you wanna do if you wanna go from being a college student to a six-figure online business is you wanna make sure that you pick the right financial vehicle and business model to get you there because if you did what I did when I started my first business, obviously I wasn't in college yet. I was simply just a clueless 16 year old starting uh, his first business, right? I picked the wrong financial vehicle. And as a result, that business was not a life changer. So make sure you pick the right financial vehicle because if you don't, you're gonna spend so much time and energy and resources, potentially even uh, working on things that's not gonna get you to your destination, to where you wanna get to. So that is the first strategy you want to keep in mind. The second strategy is not so much business related, but it's more of a character trait and a more of a mindset that you need to embrace. And it's the fact that you need to be ready to sacrifice the unnecessary. What I'd like to say is that right now, if you are a college student, if you are going to college or just taking Zoom uh, online lessons, you need to be aware of the fact that you are basically in a race against time. And the reason why I say that is because if you follow the path you're currently on, right? The path of going to college, right? Getting decent grades and just making, making sure you get that piece of paper, that path has one destination, right? That one final stop. And that final stop is just working a nine to five job. And if you don't want to work a nine to five job under a boss that you hate and working to make someone else's dream a reality, right? If you don't wanna do that, then you need to be aware of the fact that you need to jump off that train as soon as possible. I'm literally talking about getting off in the next stop, right? And so if you wanna do that, then you need to make sure that you carve out time and also be aware of the fact that if you want an outcome that is significantly better, obviously working for yourself, making way more money, right? And, and having that financial time location freedom, then you need to be ready to do those things that your college mates are not willing to do, are not ready to sacrifice, right? I'm talking about going out for dinner with friends, going out for you know catch up coffees, right? Going out to every single party or partying during the weekends, eating really unhealthy food, right? Doing drugs, et cetera, et cetera. You need to sacrifice those things because if you don't, you're gonna end up with the same outcome that they're gonna end up with, which is the final stop, which is that nine to five regular job, right? And saving away your hours and your time for a paycheck. And so essentially that is what I did when I was stuck in college, right? Before even dropping out, because a lot of people think of dropping out and they don't have a track record, right? It's really important that you start working on your business before even considering dropping out, because you need to have a track record of being able to do hard shit, right? And being able to show up every single day consistently before you actually decide to drop out. So before I even dropped out, I was saying no to most parties, right? I'm talking about probably 99% of all the things that people would invite me to, right? I was also prioritizing my health. So I was eating clean, I was eating healthy, right? I was also prioritizing my sleep because if you don't sleep well, that's gonna have a massive impact on your productivity the next day. I also cut out things, for example, alcohol. I pretty much completely got rid of it, right? I also cut out acquaintances that didn't really add much value to my life. You know, it was a, it was a good time when we met up, but you know, that time could have been much better spent on number one people that I actually enjoyed way more spending time with, and number two, on my business, right? And so I managed to cut out all this stuff, which allowed me to have much more time to put into my business and much more energy to put towards my business. Because even if you still carve out the time for your business, but you feel like crap, because maybe you drank too much the night before, right? Or you're just eating really, really unhealthy food, then you're not gonna have that energy to keep pushing. And so that is the second strategy, the second thing you need to do if you wanna go from being a college student to building a six-figure online business. Now, am I saying completely shut off the world? No, right? Uh, I think it, it is very, very healthy uh, to have positive relationships in your life, to have friends that support you, right? To, to have friends that understand what you're trying to do, right? Uh, and to have people that you can actually speak to because we are social beings, right? Um, we're not meant to just be locked in, you know, in, in a room for the rest of our existence. But at the same time, especially when you're trying to start your business, you need to make those sacrifices, right? One of the things that really, really helped me was just moving cities, right? So I was living in London and basically in London, I have most of my really, really good friends, right? And so I moved to Madrid where I'm currently based. And 
that way I didn't have as many temptations. So that's one thing that you could consider. One thing that I definitely recommend if you're looking to really, really focus on one single thing uh, and you're getting distracted with friends, with going out, etc., etc. Just move places and change your environment. Uh, and don't be afraid of taking that step back to take two steps forward. So that is the second strategy that you need to implement to go from being a college student to building a six-figure online business. The next thing you gotta do is you wanna make sure you smash the like button on this video, and that way you'll be able to see all the videos that I put out, helping you build this online business and sharing my experience and sharing tips that work tremendously well for me. So if you wanna keep seeing those videos and you also wanna help me a ton, go ahead and gently tap the like button and make it turn blue because YouTube just finds it extremely sexy when you do that. So I really appreciate that. And with that being said, let's get into the third strategy. And that is what I call a concept of the seesaw. I'm not a huge fan of the common advice that is given out there. And uh, that is, you know, just burn all the boats, just put your back against the wall and just drop out of college. And trust me, when I say this, you will succeed. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that because that won't work for most people. I'm telling you, if you don't have that track record of, hey, I know how to actually put in the work, I know how to make sacrifices, I know how to actually take no's and take failure and learn from failure and just have that relentless mindset of, you know, I'm gonna keep going until I reach success. If you don't have that, even if you drop out, even if you put your back against the wall, you're still gonna find a way to have a plan B and to not reach your goals. And so what I actually recommend you do instead is what I said at the start of the video, which is you want to make sure you are implementing before you make that big move, before you actually drop out of college or before you move to a different country uh, or before you cut out your friends or before you make those sacrifices even, right? That I, that I told you about. And so it's really important that you start implementing right now and you implement the seesaw concept, which is at first invest 90% of your time on college, right? And getting that piece of paper, which, uh, it's not really that useful, but uh, but sure, you know, maybe, maybe your your parents are really want you, you know, to graduating from college, or maybe uh, it's important for you to graduate. So invest 90% of that time on college, right, and 10% on your business. Then gradually get it to a point where you're spending 70% on college and 30% on your business, right. Then gradually and slowly get it to a point where you're spending 50% of time on college, right, and on your assignments, and 50% of time on your business and making sure that it's successful, okay? At this point, you should actually start to see some results. If you don't, then don't worry about that because uh, results usually manifest in around 90 days. So for example, if you're starting your agency just because you're putting in work now, it doesn't mean you're gonna sign your, your first client in a week, right? That could definitely happen and I've seen a lot of my students do that, right? But different people have different clocks. Then once you actually see the results pay off, Right, and you see that, oh, maybe I signed my first client, or I'm actually getting really good responses, or I'm jumping on calls with clients, or if you're you know, starting an e-commerce business, which I don't recommend, oh, I finally got my first sale, or I finally got 10 sales. Then you have that proof of concept, which gives you the confidence to invest even more time and resources on the actual business, right? And so get it to a point where maybe you're spending 70% of your time on the business and 30% of your time on college, right? And this is the exact path that I followed until I got to a point where I was spending pretty much like 90% of my time on my business and 10% on college. I was essentially doing the least I could do to get by with college and still get a, a pretty decent grade, but the minimum effort, right, that I could put in uh, to actually get decent results with my college and the maximum time I could put into my business to maximize and optimize my results with that business. And it got to a point where I was making pretty decent money uh, before I dropped out of college. I was making around three, four K a month, uh, which compared to what I make now is not that much, right? But obviously for a college student, it's pretty decent, right? But it gave me that confidence and also obviously my parents who really wanted me to stay uh, in college. Um, to say, hey, I'm gonna work on my business. I still faced a lot of resistance. I, I faced a ton of resistance from my parents, right? They didn't understand what I was doing. They thought I was crazy uh, from even a bunch of friends, uh, from acquaintances, from you know family members. Um, and so I still faced a lot of uh, resistance. And you know, in, in most cases, you will too. But understand the seesaw concept. And if you take that path, then you're gonna have that, that extra confidence that you need to make that big decision in your life. So guys, that is that for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out a ton with the algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also leave them below in the comments any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, uh, personal finance, and a ton of other really, really cool topics. And if you wanna join my free Facebook mastermind, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency, grow their online business, level up in life. A lot of them are still in uni. Um, and uh, yeah, it's an incredible community. So if you want to join that, go ahead and click the link in the description. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.